Hey guys, I just wanted to take a little bit of time to sit down and talk with you. Um, I know it can be really hard when you gain weight or regain weight and being easy on yourself. Um, I used to be really super hard. If I lost one week and gained the next week, I went out and binge ate because why not? I already ruined it, right? So I kind of have adapted being Blanche from the Golden Girls. If you've never seen her, she's a sassy, uh, not a care in the world, does what she wants kind of person. And I've kind of adapted that a little bit when it comes to weight loss and giving myself a break when I need uh, and not being so hard. So I have the analogy Blanche, um, and I'm gonna be referring to my notes, so I do apologize. Uh, the B in Blanche is for believing you're worth it. Um, a lot of the times we, are like, oh, I'm so fat, nobody loves me, uh, I don't care, I'm just gonna eat what I want because I'm already heavy. But believe in yourself. If it's something that you really want, the only person that's stopping you is you. So just be kind and believe in yourself. That L is for love yourself the way you are. Um, if you don't love yourself now, you're not gonna love yourself even if you're a size two. It has to start internally. Uh, that took me a long time to learn. I was always, worried about what other people were going to say and how other people thought of me. And when I heard things that I didn't like, I would eat my way through that because I didn't care enough about myself and didn't realize the damage that I was doing. So if you love yourself now, you're going to love yourself then and everywhere in between. And it's just going to be glorious. Um, it is a hard thing to learn. I had to put notes up all over the, the house. I had posting notes everywhere. Uh, and this is back when I lost weight in 2000. Um, you know, I was having a hard time. So I made posting notes that told me I was a badass. I told, you know, made posting notes that said you're worth it until I believed those things. And then I took the posting notes down. I mean, it just, you don't think it, it helps, but it really does. So if you're having a struggle with that, try it, see if it works for you. It did for me. The A is for activity. Um, I am not the best at that. I don't really care to do activity, but I do try. Um, you should be aiming for two to three days a week. I don't always make that. I have fibromyalgia and if my pain level is too high, I just simply don't. Uh, is it gonna affect your weight loss? No, it's really not. Um, the activity portion is more for reshaping your body. Um, the way your muscles hang different when you are heavy is way, way different than when you are lighter. And it has nothing to do with the weight loss itself. It has to do with the activity. Um, you eat to lose and you go to the gym to firm. Uh, and that's just the way that it is. Uh, you know, I don't know another way to really put that. Um, it, it, it is important. It is important for your heart. It's important for your body. Uh, it's even important for your mind because when you are doing activity, you are increasing serotonin in your brain, uh, which makes you happier. And, you know, I do feel better when I work out. I just, some days I can't. It just, if the pain level's right up there, then I am not moving. Um, the N is for nutrition. Um, do your best to make nutritious choices. It's, it seems like it's common sense, but, uh, if you're used to eating whatever you want, nutrition doesn't always come to the forefront. Uh, if you have a choice between a candy bar or a carrot stick, you're gonna choose the candy bar because it tastes better. However, um, making sure that you have balance uh, between the sweet treats and the nutrition is really important. I'm not saying don't ever have a Snickers bar again. If you like Snickers, um, maybe cut it in half. Eat half now and put an other half in a Ziploc and eat it later, um, you know, increase, your salad intake. If you're not a salad eater, eat one salad a day. See if it makes a difference for you. Um, it's all about balance. Um, the C is for change your mindset. Huge, huge, huge. Um, Weight Watchers is not a diet. It is a lifestyle change. Um, diets don't really work. Uh, a lot of the time, I'm sure some of you may have tried SlimFast or you may have tried Keto or you may have tried Jenny Craig, or you may have tried Whole30. And as long as you're doing those things, it works. Uh, it's when you don't do them anymore that you have weight gain. 
Um, if you learn how to change it into a lifestyle where you are healthy cooking every day and you know, you're reducing how much soda pop you're drinking or you're reducing how much uh, candy you're intaking, um, you know, and beef up how much fiber you're eating so that you have a fuller system, um, you're naturally going to lose weight um, as long as you're not overindulging. And that's why Weight Watchers works so well. Um, I will admit I had lost a bunch of weight on Weight Watchers back in 2000 or 2000 ish. Um, and over the course of time, I gained some of it back, uh, because I was not paying attention to having that healthy mindset. I was in a new relationship. I was very happy. I was flying back and forth a lot. I was eating in airports a lot. Um, not that that's an excuse. It's not, but, uh, the major weight gain was when my son went through chemo treatments. Um, I ate my way through that and I'm okay with that because I know how to get the weight back off uh, and I know that Weight Watchers works. Um, the H in Blanche is for being honest with yourself. Uh, a lot of the times we say, I've been eating according to plan and I've been doing all these things and I gained weight this week. But you really have to ask yourself, okay, did you really though? Were you measuring those portions to make sure they were correct? Did you write down everything you eat? Um, sometimes I have a mindset of if I don't write it down, it didn't happen. And that's not being honest with yourself. So uh, I have to do that. I have to call myself out on my own accountability. Uh, and it sucks. You know, um, I work for a cookie company that has delicious cookies. And I gained 0.3 this week because I ate two of them on my birthday and I ate one on another day. And uh, those didn't end up in the journal. Um, and they should have. So I went back and added them. Okay, the E is for enjoy the journey. Um, when I say this, I mean you need to enjoy all of it. Uh, if you have a small gain one week, did you enjoy what you were doing when you had the extra things that might have caused that gain? Um, you know, were you celebrating somebody's birthday or the birth of a child or a holiday? Um, we tend to be really hard on ourselves when we gain. Um, but if you take a look at how you probably would have eaten not on Weight Watchers during that, that celebration, you're probably going to find out that you probably would have gained way more than you did um, while you're on plan. You need to give yourself more grace. Uh, a point two loss is a point two loss. And some people are like, it's only that vocabulary needs to change because any loss is great, um, whether it is 0.1 or two pounds, but we didn't put this weight on overnight. At least I didn't. Mine came back on over the course of 10 years. So why do you think it's going to come off overnight? You know, give yourself that grace to be like, okay, I can enjoy this journey. I can still go to a birthday party. I can still have a drink when I'm out with friends. Is it going to kill me? It's one time. But if you're doing it all the time, obviously you would need to reevaluate that. But if it's on an occasion, don't stop yourself from enjoying life. Oh, I can't do that. I'm on WW. No, go out and have fun. Just don't overindulge. Keep it mindful. Maybe get yourself a bracelet or something that says you can do it so that when you go to take another drink or get grab another drink, you see that and it's going to remind you that Oh, maybe I should only have one drink or maybe I should only have two drinks instead of having four or five or six or whatever. Cause you know, some people like to get out there and party. That's okay. Um, but yeah, just don't just go through the motions of Weight Watchers. You have to work it to make it work for you. And I struggle with it. I know other people struggle with it, but if you talk about it with other people in the community, or even down in the comments below on my video, start a conversation about your struggle. Maybe someone else had something similar and they can help you out in return. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you be a Blanche and make sure you're doing it with sass. Make sure you're doing it with sass and class like Blanche would. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have a great day. Hey guys, Melinda here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a snowy day in Philadelphia. If you can see that back there, uh, we're getting a snowstorm. So I figured I would do some baking. 
Um, today we are going to do the Weight Watchers Blueberry Cake Donuts. They are 1 point each. I'm not sure if that's on all plans. I'll have to put it in the calculator and check it out. Um, but the recipe that I uh, have does claim that it is one point per donut. I purchased some donut molds um, on Amazon and these are really inexpensive, reusable, easy to clean. Um, I use a lot of silicone baking sheet type things just because it's so much easier. Um, I am still going to spray these because the directions do say to spray them and let's get started. Okay, so I got all my ingredients out here. Um, the first thing it says is you need to have two scoops of or servings of Devotion Nutrition Angel Food Cake Protein Powder. I don't have that. I use the light protein um, from Designer Protein. This is Vanilla Cupcake, so I'm going to use that. I'm going to grab my scale. And I did look up on the nutritional information for the, um, what was it called again? For the Angel Food Cake uh, Protein Powder from Devotion. And it is 28 grams per scoop, and you need to have two scoops. So I'm going to go ahead and put my little handy dandy measuring cup on here. This is a new can, so I can't find the scoop in here yet. So I'm going to just go ahead and use a measuring cup until I find the scoop anyway. So that's 29 grams. That's like a third of a cup almost. And I found the scoop. Yay! So let me see how many grams. One level scoop is 16 grams of this particular brand, so we're going to have to, there's 47, and, oh, I need 56, I did 53. So it's like a half a cup worth. Also, this stuff is really inexpensive. I think I paid $6.95 a can or something like that on Amazon, and I really, really like this one, um, and it's very versatile. I've used it in other baking things, and it works really well. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, um, even though this is really fine, I am going to put it through the sifter. just so we make sure that there is no clumps. Get that out of the way. Uh, next we need one cup of high protein pancake mix. Uh, I believe they use Kodiak. I don't particularly care for Kodiak. I like the Trader Joe's one. And if you're wondering why I store this in a Ziploc bag, it's a habit because during the summer on the East Coast, the humidity gets into everything and also you get flower bugs, um, which I wasn't used to from the West Coast. So I just go ahead and do it anyway. It keeps it fresh in there. And I got my one cup. I'm going to put that in the sifter as well. And while I have the sifter here, I'm going to go ahead and add the one tablespoon of baking powder. And for those who uh, have watched my muffin videos, this is a unexpired can. And we also need to have one teaspoon of cinnamon. And I'm going to go ahead and sift these as well. If you don't have a sifter, um, just whisk it with a with your whisk really well. Um, you can get these on Amazon as well. It's where I got mine. 
And I think it was $13 or $14, and I use this thing all the time. It just makes sure you don't have any lumps or clumps in anything, so it's kind of great. Okay, the next thing that we need is we need a cup of cold water, which I did not grab, so let me grab that. We need a half a cup of blueberries. These are already pre-washed. And I will check for stems. Because we don't want stems in our stuff. Kind of wish it had more than a half a cup of blueberries. Because I really like blueberries. But we'll do the recipe. Oh, renegade. Okay, so I got my half a cup of blueberries. And you also need a third of a cup of applesauce. Whoop, that was almost a problem. What did I do with my, there it is, my spatula. Okay, now we're just gonna mix it all up. Really make sure it gets mixed up well because you don't want to get a big bunch of flour at the bottom or anything like that. Ooh, it smells good already. <laughs> okay, let me get some stuff cleared off here and we'll put them in the molds. Okay, now that I got everything cleaned up, I can go ahead and get these uh, into the molds. I did not preheat the oven yet because I use the oven, I have like a wooden thing underneath here to hold my stand so that I can record closer. Um, so I will do that after I'm done with this. And I'm gonna do it pretty liberally just because it is a thick batter and I wanna make sure If it looks like it's sprayed too much in there, um, I will just go through with a paper towel and take some off, which it looks like I'm gonna do. Good thing for these bounty squares, let me tell you. I'm just gonna dab in there, I don't wanna take off all the, the work that I've done, of course, but uh, you don't want anything pooling in the bottom of it either. Got a little heavy handed there. So that's my garbage bowl, and now we're ready to start putting them in. Let me scooch you down here. Okay, now you can see a little better. I'm gonna put my bowl down here so you can see. So it's out, my bowl's out of view, but this is what we need to see, so. Um, and I've never made these before. Uh, I just do a lot of baking and so forth. So um, I do know some of how to do it. Um, you know what? I don't want to duck up my finger. So let me take my little mini spatula. We talked about that in another video about how great they are. And I'm just going to press it down and around. I think I'm just going to use the little one. I think that works better. Okay, 
So I figured out, you gotta do them about halfway full, a little bit more maybe. Um, but I had filled them too full, so I was messing around with them. And I think I got them exactly where I want them. So that's what they look like in the pan. And you're going to cook them for 10 to 12 minutes at 375 degrees. And it does say it makes 12, which after putting it in correctly, I did make 12, so we're good. I'm gonna go ahead and get these baked off and uh, I will show you the finished result when we're done.